So welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Sumo 4 So as you guys can see, I'm an unusual setup. I'm actually at my library. I've reserved a room here. And so I want to do a quick reaction. So we're going to do this quickly, um, you know, five to eight minutes-ish. You know, look at the groups. I haven't even seen the groups yet, so this will be kind of like a live. Re uh, this will be like a raw reaction. And then in a few hours' time, around 5 p.m. Eastern time, I'm recording at 2 p.m., um, we will do a hangout where you guys can get involved and um, we can share thoughts in the groups and go a bit more extensive. This is just like a brief raw reaction. You know, there won't be any predictions. Huh? I'll just quickly give you guys my thoughts in the group. Okay, so let's start with Group A. So Group A, we have Bayern Munich, Manchester United, Copenhagen, and Galatasaray. <sighs> I mean, this is an interesting group. I would say um, it's a battle for second place. And I think this is interesting because even though Bayern and Man United are the heavy favorites, and of course they should advance given the quality of players they have, there could be an upset, you know, and it's it's going to be interesting. So, you know, obviously Bayern Munich wants revenge against Manchester United for the 1999 Champions League final. But, yeah, I think it's, it, it's good, man. It's good. Group B, Sevilla, Arsenal, PSV, and Lens, Lens. Um, yeah, this is a good group. Arsenal actually have a decent challenge. And even though this group may look easy on favor, I don't think this is an easy group by any means. You know, PSV, we know what they did in the qualifiers. And Lons, we know what they did in the um, Uber Eats. You know, only lost the league by one point. So, yeah, um, I will say this, though. I think um, Arsenal should be happy in for Sevilla, man. Are they going to intentionally finish third? <laughs> because we know what they're capable of doing. So, this is an interesting group. Um, and yeah, I like I like Group B a lot. I like Group B a lot. Group C, oh wow, Napoli, Real Madrid, Braga, Union Berlin. Okay, now this is a very interesting group. I have to say this right now. I think this might be um, a very interesting one because obviously Real Madrid, we know how good they are in the Champions League, and. I just think for Real Madrid, this will be a difficult group. Like, Union Berlin is no easy team. Obviously, Braga isn't either. either. So, yeah, I, I like Group C. Group C is looking good. So far, these groups are good, man. These groups are good. Group D. Benfica, Inter Milan, RB Salzburg, and Real Sociedad. Benfica and Inter Milan meet again in the Champions League after we know what happened in the quarterfinals when, I believe, Inter Milan defeated Benfica 5-3 on aggregate. So... Can Benfica get revenge? This is a big question mark. I like this group. I think it's a very interesting group. And it's kind of like a, a unpredictable group. You can Maybe not unpredictable, but there's there could be room for upset, you know. And um, I'm really keen to see who, that third place battle. That That's going to be great in this group, you know. Um, so, yeah. And then group E, Feyenoord, Lazio, Atletico Madrid, Lazio Celtic. Yeah, I feel like this is a very interesting group. Atletico Madrid, you guys better not fumble this. After what happened last season, you guys better not fumble this. I like this group a lot. I think it's a very interesting group. And yeah, um, very interesting. We know what Feyenoord is capable of doing. They, of course, won the Eredivisie. And, you know, this is an interesting group. I, I could see the thing is with Atletico Madrid is that I could see them topping this group. And, but I also, at the same time, I could see them getting third. Like, it's, for me, they could finish anywhere from first to fourth. They're a very unpredictable team. Group F. Oh, my word. This is interesting. PSG, Dortmund, Milan, Newcastle. Is this the group of death, guys? I think this might be the group of death. I really like this group a lot because all four of those clubs are big clubs. And one of the clubs will finish bottom of the group. It's a very interesting group. I like this group up very, very much. And I think any of the four teams can honestly advance. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I, I think this could be very interesting. And Group G, we got Manchester City, RB Leipzig, Red Star, Belgrade, and Young Boys. That's very, very interesting. I think that's a good group. Um, you know, Manchester City, R, RB Leipzig. You know, I feel like this is a very straightforward group. I don't think there will be too much exciting stuff. I think the next interesting thing is who's going to get that third place between um, Red Star, Belgrade, and Young Boys. And then finally, my group, Barcelona's group. <laughs> finally, we got a kind draw. We got a kind draw, guys. We got a kind draw. UEFA have finally given us a kind draw. <laughs> oh, man. Porto, Shakhtar, Antwerp. We better, and I mean better, we better top this group. If we don't top this group, I will ask serious questions with Xavi Hernandez. Xavi Hernandez must be questioned if we don't top this group. 
or at the very least second place so there you guys go man that is the champions league group stage for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy um like i said guys we'll be doing a live reaction we'll do a live stream in around three hours time uh to go a bit more in depth into the groups and everything so i hope you guys did enjoy remember guys to like and subscribe and yeah comment below your comment section below and tell me if your thoughts if you're happy as a um with your respective teams i personally am happy with my group in particular so remember guys to like and subscribe comment below your thoughts comment section below remember to become a member of the channel to get access to members videos and members streams and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out